Hello everyone, this is TCB ASMR here. In this video I will be discussing yesterday's MLB games. First game we had yesterday was the Dodgers versus the Cubs. This was at Wrigley Field. Dodgers lost this game 0 to 13. Cubs shut out the Dodgers. Dodgers moved to 10 and 11. Cubs moved to 12 and 7. Big uh, headline of this game, Drew Smiley was throwing a perfect game up until um, I'm not sure who hit the ball, but um, it was just a little dribbler down the like near the line. Drew Smiley went for it, Jan Gomes went for it, and Drew Smiley got trucked by Jan Gomes. And uh, yeah, no hitter, and the perfect game gone in one hit, one little pitch. But despite that, Drew Smiley still had a great game. Seven and two-thirds innings, only one hit, of course, scoreless, and ten strikeouts. Nico Horner went four for five with a homer and four RBIs. Trey Mancini went three for five with a homer and three RBIs. For the Dodgers, of course, they only had one hit uh, the entire game. And that was Peralta, who had that little dribbler. The starter for the Dodgers was Julio Urias, who got rocked, gave up five earned runs, seven hits, and walked two in only three and a third innings. Reed got rocked, and Jackson did okay, but still gave up some runs. Reed's ERA is a uh, 81 right now, which is pretty funny. For the Cubs, as we spoke about, Nico Horner had a good game. Seiya Suzuki also had more than one hit. He, he went two for four. Patrick Wisdom went two for five. Cody Bellinger went two for four and hit his fifth home run of the year. Spoke about Trey Mancini. Yeah, and then uh, Nick Madrigal hit his first triple. Ian Happ hit a double. Bellinger hit a double. And Patrick Wisdom hit a double. Wisdom also hit his ninth home run of the year, which did tie the league lead, uh, Pete Alonso. But a little spoiler alert, alert to Peter, Pete Alonso. I said Peter. Pete Alonso did hit a home run against the Giants, which we will get to, of course. Next game, we had the Pirates beating the Reds. Pirates moved to 14 and 7. Reds moved to 7 and 13. This game ended 4 to 2. Mitch Keller had a pretty good start and went six innings, five strikeouts, only two earned runs. Connor Joe goes three for three with a double walk. And Graham Ashcraft goes five innings, four strikeouts, only two earned runs. Uh, yeah, just another well executed game by the Pirates. Nothing too crazy going on in this game. So move on to the next game which was the Rays and the White Sox. Rays win this game 8 to 7, move to 17 and 3. White Sox move to 7 and 13. As you can see in the headline, Brandon Lau hit a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth inning. Top performers were Harold Ramirez. He went 2 for 3 with a homer, a walk and 2 RBIs, and Brandon Lau went 1 for 4 with a homer, a walk and 2 RBIs. Bethencourt also went 2 for 4 with a homer and an RBI. Starter for the Rays was Fauscher, or Fauscher. He did give up a lot of runs. He gave up 3 in only 2 innings. Uh, but Kelly finally came in to shut the door right at the end. Well, not shut the door, but you know, give the Rays a chance in the game. For the White Sox, the starter was Michael Kopech, who got rocked. Uh, but then Reynaldo Lopez came in. And uh, gave the game away right at the end. So, Benintendi went 2 for 4. Grandal went 2 for 4. And uh, Oscar Colas went 1 for 4, the rookie. Which is good to see. Uh, yeah. Eloy Jimenez hit a home run. His first home run of the year. Jake Berger, Vaughn, and Grandal all hit doubles for the Rays. Yandy Diaz went 2 for 5. Josh Lowe went 2 for 4. Harold Ramirez, as we spoke about, went two for three, and uh, Brandon Lowe went one for four, but with that walk-off home run, and as we spoke about, Bethencourt went two for four. Next, we had the Orioles beating the Tigers two to one. Orioles moved to twelve and seven. Tigers go to seven, to seven and eleven. Wells goes seven innings scoreless. Lorenzen goes five innings scoreless, and Cedric Mullins goes two for three with a double and a walk. Not too much here. Austin Hayes did hit a home run, and Gunnar Henderson, and of course, as we just spoke about, Cedric Mullins both hit 
doubles. Um, for the Tigers, the starter was Lorenzen. Uh, and then the bullpen kind of gave the game away. Yeah, good game for the Orioles. Next game we had was the Phillies versus the Rockies. Phillies win this game 4-3. to three. Uh, Aaron Nola finally puts up a decent performance. Goes seven innings, only three earned runs. Kyle Schwarber hits a home run. Uh, goes two for four. And Ryan McMahon also hits a home run. Gets three RBIs and also has a walk. Uh, starter for Colorado was Davis. He pitched pretty solid, only one earned run in four and two thirds innings. Spoke about Aaron Nola was the uh, the starter for the Phillies, and as we said, Kyle Schwarber hit a home run. That was his fifth of the year so far. Next, we had the Blue Jays beating the Yankees uh, six to one. Blue Jays moved to twelve and eight. The Yankees are also twelve and eight. Brandon Belt went two for four with the homer, a double, and four RBIs. Vladdy Jr. went two for four with the homer, hit by pitch, which I was a, a bit um, interesting. He stared down uh, Weismer, who hit him. I don't think it was intentional at all, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he also has two RBIs, and Yusei Kikuchi goes six innings, only giving up one run. Oswaldo Cabrera... Uh, he hit his first home run of the season off of Kikuchi, but Domingo Herman was very bad for the Yankees. Gave up four runs in, I think, six innings. As we said, um, Vladdy hit his fourth home run, and Brandon Belt hit his first. Uh, George Springer hit his first double, and Belt hit his fourth double. Move on to the next game, which was between the Braves and the Astros. Astros win this game six to four. Finally, get to five hundred. Braves go to fourteen and six. Uh, Elder goes six innings scoreless for the Braves, but that's not enough as Mauricio Dubon goes three for five with a double RBI, two runs, and a stolen base. Jordan Alvarez goes one for four with a two-run shot, a hit by pitch, and a run uh, for the. Braves only extra base hits were from or doubles. Uh, Acuna had two, Austin Riley had one, and Albies had one. For the Strohs, said Alvarez hit that, that two run shot. Extra base hits by Alex Bregman, Diaz, and Mauricio Dubon. Uh, the starter for the Astros was Hunter Brown, who's been a pretty good rookie this year, uh, but did have a rough start in this one. ERA goes up to about 3.09, so not great. And then, as we said, Elder was the starter for the Braves, but Chavez gave up uh, most of the runs, and Minter also gave up two runs in the top of the ninth. Next, we had the A's versus the Rangers. A's win this one 5-4. to four. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, Rangers go to 12-7. and seven. A's go to 4-16. and 16. Jonah Heim goes one for three with a homer walk and three RBIs. Diaz goes one for one with the homer. And Tony Kemp goes one for three with a homer and a walk. Starter for the Rangers was John Gray, who got, he did okay. He gave up three runs in five and a third innings for the A's. His starter was uh, Sears, who didn't do too hot either. He did strike out 11, but gave up four runs. Uh, but yeah, he's going to win in that game. Next, we had the Nationals versus the Twins. Nationals win this game 3-2. to two. They move to 6-13. and 13. Twins go to 11-9. and nine. Molly goes 6 and third innings, only one earned run. Joey Gallo hits another home run, goes one for one with two walks and an RBI. And Williams goes six innings, only two earned only two runs earned. Uh, but yeah, he said Twins lose this one. Gallo does hit his fifth home run. Buxton and Jeffers both hit doubles, but the homer from Joey Manessis and double from A CJ Abrams uh, helps out the Nationals to get this win. Next, we had the Red Sox beating the Brewers. Red Sox moved to 11 and 10, somehow still fifth in the AL East. Brewers go to 14 and 6. Alex Verdugo hits another home run, 2 for 5, with a double and also two RBIs. Tellez goes 1 for 3 with a homer walk and an RBI. 
and Winchkowski goes two for or two and a third innings scoreless. Starter for Milwaukee was Freddie Peralta, who got uh, rocked just a tad bit. He went five and a, five and two thirds innings uh, and gave up four earned runs. For the Red Sox, uh, starter was Nick Pavetta, who did okay but not great. Um, Red Sox offense was able to help him out a little bit and get him the W. Next, we had the Angels versus the Royals. Shohei Otani put on a great performance in this one. Yes, I know it is the Royals, but he went seven innings scoreless with only two, only allowing two hits and striking out 11. His ERA is currently .64. Wallet goes one for three with a homer and two RBIs, and Clark pitches two innings scoreless. Uh, Angels move to 500 with this win. Royals go to four and 16. Not too much to see here besides Wallach's uh, home run. Padres and D-backs. I believe this was Tatis' first game back hitting. Uh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe the game before was, but he went one for four in this one. Not great. And Zach Gallen has another great performance. The exact same stats as Shohei. Seven innings, a scoreless, only two hits, and 11 strikeouts. And not to discredit Shohei, but this was against a lineup that has Tatis, Soto, Machado, Bogart, Cronenworth, Nelson Cruz, Trent Grisham, Carpenter, Kim. Like That's very impressive that he only allowed two hits and struck out 11 with a lineup like this. Uh, the starter for the, um, starter for the Padres was Seth Lugo, I believe. Um, yeah, he went six innings, only 200 runs. The last top performer was Gabriel Moreno, who went three for four with three RBIs, uh, and other good perform or other good yeah other good performers for the D-backs were Ketel Marte, who went three for five. Uh, Perdomo also went two for four. Christian Walker had a double. Marte had a double, and Perdomo had a double. Uh, no stolen bases in this game, though. But still, a good win for the D-backs as they move to 12 and 9, and the Padres go to 10 and 12. Next, we had the Mariners beating the Cardinals 5 to 2. Mariners move to 9 and 11. Cardinals go to 8 and 12. George Kirby has a pretty good, pretty solid outing. Six innings pitched, only two earned runs, five strikeouts. Teoscar Hernandez goes two for three with a homer, double walk, RBI, and three runs. And Mats, I don't know how he's in the top performers because he got rocked five and one-third innings pitched four earned runs and did strike out seven, but uh, still um, not too much going on hitting-wise for St. Louis. They only notched three hits. And for the Mariners, Teoscar Hernandez, as we spoke about, he hit a home run, uh, also hit a double, as we said, and Pollock also hit a double. On to the next game, which, as I mentioned earlier, was well, actually the last game yesterday because the Marlins and Guardians got postponed uh, to today. As I'm recording this, the 22nd, the Mets beat the Giants 7-0, 7-0. Joey Lucchese goes seven innings, scoreless, striking out nine. First start this year and uh, did very well. Pete Alonso, as I mentioned earlier, went two for five, hit a home run, had four RBIs. Jeff McNeil also went. Two for four with the hit by pitch and two runs. Giants only five hits, so not much for them this game. Wilmer Flores did hit a double. Desclafani got rocked a, a little bit, gave up seven hits in only five innings, four earned runs. Uh, home run did strike out five, but uh, still for the Mets, as you said, uh, Pete Alonso hit a homer. Uh, not too much else going on over here. Danny Burgers. Daniel Volkopak went two for four. Luis Guillorme went two for four. Uh, Jeff McNeil, as we said, went two for four. And Brandon Nimmo continues to be hot. Goes two for four. His batting average is two or 375 right now, uh, which might lead the National League. Actually, no, because Luis Arias is still in the National League. Uh, we can check the statistics. Wasn't going to do this till tomorrow, but I'm, I'm kind of interested right now. 
So Brandon Marsh actually has the highest OPS for uh, Philadelphia, right? Yeah, he has the highest OPS in the league. Right behind him is rookie James Outman. Uh, very impressive. Most strikeouts right now is Matt Olson, which you don't like to see. Most walks is Juan Soto. So even though he hasn't been playing well, you can see he only has a 729 OPS in a 176 average. The dude is still getting on base, still has a pretty decent on-base percentage at 351, just can't hit the ball right now. Uh, this is updated right now because Max, I think Max Muncy hit a home run uh, in one of today's games, so it's a little bit different, but uh, hits, Nico Horner actually leads in hits. Uh, what else is there? Stolen bases, Nico Horner leads. But Cedric Mullins is actually tied with them and hasn't been caught stealing. So I would argue Cedric Mullins actually leads. Um, on base percentage, Luis Arias. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah. Arias still leads um, for Miami. And Brandon Nemo actually dropped a little bit. I guess he, um, I guess maybe he didn't do too hot today. But uh, we'll see about that tomorrow. Those are all the games. If you enjoyed watching the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about yesterday's games. It's very much appreciated if you do like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.